Optimus Run. We need a game. As skilled a seven-footer as you'll find in the NBA, Pau Gasol is in the building and getting set. He does everything you want to see a seven-footer do. He blocks shots, he can rebound, he's an effective passer out of the low post, and he competes hard all the time. Along with Cheryl Miller and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. The Lakers control the tip-off and will get this one started. To Gasol, Bynum takes it up. Love cleans the defensive glass. Dumps it to Jefferson. It's blocked. Got a piece of that shot, and that's always a great lift for the defense. From deep, yanked down for a defensive rebound by Gomes. Nad usually takes advantage of any weakness along the perimeter. Not that time. Jefferson backs him down. No good. Here's Love. Love grabs the offensive rebound. Love picked that one off the glass and puts it back for the score. One minute left in the first. Passes it to Nash. Throws it up. He's off from three. Terrific work on the glass. Way to go up strong inside. And now our sideline reporter Cheryl Miller has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, Kevin, earlier today I spoke with Phil Jackson, coach of the Lakers. I asked him for his thoughts about the game. He told me our teams match up pretty closely. It's going to be a matter of which team can keep the turnovers down and execute on offense. Kevin, sounds like he's expecting a nail biter. Yep, thanks, Cheryl. The pass, a reason. He wasn't thinking at all on that pass. That's what you call bad decision making. It's missed by four. Passes to the paint. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. To four. Unloads. Misses the buzzer beat. That's the end of the first, and it hasn't been pretty, but it's still close. The score, two to zero. The Timberwolves with the narrow lead. Well, Kevin, they've played great defense. It's been an absolute clinic at that end of the floor. However, All right, the second quarter should begin momentarily. Brewer inbounds it to start the second quarter. Four. No luck on the three-point attempt. Four is a streaky shooter, and at the moment, he's really struggling. Bryant is a handful once he gets loose inside. Smith backs down. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was a dish. Ariza takes it up. Does not get the go-ahead bucket. He's usually automatic from that close. The defense must have affected Miller buries the triple. Neither of these teams, Clark, can break out of the funk. Well, both teams have struggled so far, Kevin. Lids on both baskets. Neither team finding any kind of rhythm. Eventually, one of these teams is going to break out. I just don't know which one it will be. Bryant has the hops to make every dunk a highlight. If he got any higher, he'd be the pilot's license. Four dishes it to Brewer. Four shoots it up. Sweet rebound by the 10th year veteran out of St. John's. Oh! Here's another look at the Sprite Slam King. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. When he gets it that close, forget about it. It's all over. Yeah. 
to Gomes. Inside. Smith backs him down. Goes up. A test on the rebound. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Ariza shoots. Off the mark from three. Miller dumps it off. Four hands it off to Miller. Off wall. Bryant. And that concludes the first half. The score, six to five. Not exactly a barn burner of a game so far. Not at all. It's been slow going offensively. Now it's time for our T-Mobile Halftime Report. Kobe Bryant is our top scorer so far. He's got six. Kevin Love has been working hard on the glass. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Love inbounds it to start the second half. Four passes way down court. Goal. Hold him. Deflected. Excellent time. He's such a force around the rim. Time for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, as he came to the Lakers locker room, I spoke with Coach Phil Jackson. He told me that they'll have to elevate their game if they want to hold on to this lead. Coach said he wants his team to focus on waiting for their shot. He knows that the field goal percentage was low in the first half and thinks his players are rushing the offense. Let's see if they can be a little more patient, guys. Thank you, Cheryl. Backs in. Seven on the shot clock. Jefferson. It falls. Jefferson. Couldn't keep a handle on. In these close games, you can't afford too many mistakes. it down. Gets them both. Gasol inbounds the ball. Nash. On the run. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. The Timberwolves still holding on to a small lead. It's anyone's game right now, partner. Every possession is critical. Jefferson. Outstanding play to get a hand on that one. Great perimeter deep. Kobe dumps it off. Nash. Flies in for the lead. When the margin's this tight, every basket starts to take on a little bit more meaning. Four. Passes to Love. That's a bad play there, Ken. I bet he wishes he could take that one back. Nash sinks it. Nash did a nice job of getting open and knocking down the jumper. That's a nice play. Telfair passes it up court. Hold it. Jefferson drops the sledgehammer. Bynum inbounds the ball. Nash can't get the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. It's 12 to 11. Bryant came to play. Six points and two rebounds. Yeah, not flashy numbers, but his presence has definitely been felt out there. It's little things, Kevin. He's getting them done. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Our test inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Nash backs down. Rebound. Outstanding deep. They got right up on him and 
forced him in. It's good. One assist by the eight-year veteran out of Spain. Great dish there. Way to find the open man. Jefferson. Jefferson. Dishes to Nash. Goes up. Jefferson. That's his fourth rebound thus far. It's one on one. Terrific deep. Goals. Missed. There's nobody around. He can't get it to fall. I won't see that very often. Nash. Buries it. Jefferson inbounds the ball. 104 left in the game. Seven on the shot clock. Telfair. Hold him. He really needs to hit that consistently. Or they'll just keep letting him shoot. The dish a reason. The saw. Well, that's his fifth rebound in this one. The Timberwolves must score to stay alive. Well, he got a good look at it, but he couldn't knock it down, Kevin. Those are the ones you typically remember. The wide open misses. Seven on the shot clock. Jefferson. Jefferson. Jefferson found the gap and got right to the rack. The Timberwolves will go for the intentional foul. They still got to foul them a second time to get into the penalty and send them to the strike. First team foul. Gasol inbounds the ball. Steve. Can't connect on number two. Oh, he could have made it a two possession game, and instead, they're only up a bucket. Obviously, not what they needed. Is in it small forward. Go inbounds the ball to Jefferson. Four flips it in for two. The Lakers will take a timeout. Nash. Ooh, off target. He got it up in time, but the potential game winner won't drop. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. All right. All right, the jump ball should take... Oh, a terrific play to keep them alive. That's got to give them momentum going into this extra session. Yeah, we'll see. The Lakers control the tip. Dumps it to Gasol. Releases. Balls up. Jefferson inbounds the ball. The Timberwolves need to work fast. to Gomes. That's it. Jefferson. Rebounded. Jefferson has got to be upset. 
Anytime you get to the rim like that, you don't expect to miss. Bryant pass to the left side. The Timberwolves will call a full timeout. They're down by five. 22 seconds left in overtime. Clark, what are your thoughts? Kevin, they need to launch a quick one here. No time to get fancy. Keep it simple. Then they have to foul. Ariza is in at small forward. Substitution on the court. Jefferson inbounds the ball. Telford. Oh, just missed it. But he drew contact, and he'll head to the line. Off target on the first. Or too many missed free throws, Cal. They need every point they can get. Hey, come here, come here. Steve Benson's the foul. personal foul. First team foul. Steve Benson's the That's his fourth personal foul. Second team foul. Knocks it down. He didn't get them all, but I think he still put this game out of reach, Kevin. The Timberwolves take their last timeout. They're behind by six. Six seconds left in overtime. Clark, what's your take? You have to be impressed by their tenacity. Still fighting, but the odds are definitely not in their favor. They need to hit a quick shot here, preferably a three, and then foul. Love inbounds the ball. That's a bad play there, Cam. I bet he wishes he could take that one back. Telford. The Lakers. In the hard-fought game as they outlast the Timberwolves, 26 to 18. Nash is the Jordan Brand player of the game, and he was spectacular. Well, it's unusual to see one guy score nearly all his team's points, Kevin. But that's exactly what happened in this one. He really carried the load. Well, that's it for us. On behalf of Clark Kellogg, Cheryl Miller, and me, Kevin Harlan, thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports.